Jessie here. I'm back with another video. I'm finally bringing you that haul I promised you and this is a kind of collective random beauty haul. I haven't really figured out what I'm going to call it yet. Probably just a random beauty haul like I always do. Um, I picked up some makeup items, some bath and body items, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to jump right into it so it's not an incredibly long video. First place I went to was Bath and Body Works. Now I never ever shop at Bath and Body Works because I feel like 95% of the time their stuff is way overpriced. It's nothing special. But I do occasionally go in there just to smell the new scents and I absolutely fell in love with this scent that they have and all of the items from this um, particular scent were on sale for $7 each which I think is still ridiculously expensive for this stuff. Um, I very much enjoy a lot of my drugstore Bath & Body products that are much more affordable but the scent just really intrigued me and I liked it a lot so I went ahead and bit the bullet. So the scent that I'm referring to is the Lush Pink Dragon Fruit scent and because the items were only $7 I went ahead and picked up three. This first one is the Fine Fragrance Mist. I really, really love this scent. It's such a nice, fruity, kind of tropical-y scent. I don't, I'm bad at describing scents, you guys know this, but um, I just really, really like it. If you have a chance to go into your local Bath & Body Works and smell this scent, I highly recommend it. So I picked up the Fine Fragrance Mist, the 24-Hour Moisture Ultra Shea Body Cream, which is actually incredibly moisturizing. I was surprised because a lot of the lotions and things that I've tried from Bath & Body Works in the past have just been just okay but this one's really really nice nice thick luxurious body cream feels great and does um, keep me moisturized for quite a while so I am enjoying that as well and the last item in that scent that I picked up is the Lush Pink Dragon Fruit Shower Gel so like I said seven dollars for a shower gel is expensive ridiculously so. I like to pay like two at the most, um, but I really, really enjoyed the scent, so I went ahead and went for it. You guys will not see a lot of Bath & Body Works hauls on my channel. I'm just not that into it. Like I said, I think it's overpriced and overhyped, but the scent was good, so there it is. That was all that I picked up at Bath & Body Works. Next thing I picked up was a couple of things from Big Lots. Um, I go into Big Lots occasionally just to kind of see what there is. I always buy something, and this was no exception. I picked up the Olay Fresh Effects Va Va Vivid Powered Contour Cleansing System. Now, this was on clearance for $3.50. It comes with a little um, cleanser as well as a little battery-operated cleansing brush. Now, the cleanser is for... Uh, it's a shine minimizing cleanser. I don't really have problems with that. I have relatively dry skin, so I don't know how well that's going to work for me. I do like the Olay um, Fresh FX line of products. Everything I've tried from them has been pretty good. Um, but the main reason I purchased this was for this little brush. You can hear it's battery operated. Um, I'm not one to spend a ton of money on things like this, so going to like Sephora or something and buying a Clarisonic is just something that's never going to happen. I don't like to spend that much money, so I figured I would give this little guy a shot um, for $3.50. What the heck? I figured it'd be worth a try. Um, what else did I pick up at Big Lots? I picked up the Olay All Day Bro Moisture Cream with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 15. This was on sale for $3. Um, I like the Olay line and I'm just about out of the moisturizer I've been using for quite some time now, which is the Equate Naturally Beaming Daily Moisturizer. So when I saw this there for 3 bucks, I figured, why not? Um, I used the Olay, um, what is it called? Here it is. The Olay Age Defying Instant Hydration Night Cream. So I figured I might as well try the moisturizer as well. So there's that. I will let you guys know how that works for me. And the last things that I picked up at Big Lots were a couple of candles. Now you guys know I'm not a big candle fan. I'm definitely a bigger fan of the scented wax cubes. I just posted a video on my favorite scented wax cubes for spring, which will be linked at the end of this video. But um, occasionally I do like to have candles, especially for around my bathtub. I like to burn candles when I take a bath, and I just put in a jacuzzi whirlpool tub in my bathroom, so I've been all about the baths lately. Um, 
P.S. If you have any uh, suggestions for bath products, preferably not from Lush because that's a little bit out of my price range. Like I said, I don't like to spend a ton. Um, you know, bubble bath, bath salts, that sort of thing. Let me know because I'd love to hear your suggestions. But anyway, I picked up a couple of candles for around my bathtub. They're both the same. I've already got one by my bath, so I didn't bring it to you, but they were like two for five dollars. So I picked up this Living Colors candles in the scent High Hyacinth and Heather. Probably mispronounced that, but it's just a nice kind of floral light um, scent. Um, it's actually very heavily fragranced. It says so right here, heavily fragranced. Um, but it's not like overwhelming at all. And I just burn it by my bath and I'm really enjoying that. So I picked up a couple of those. So I placed an order with e.l.f., which is Eyes, Lips, Face, because they had some new brushes and I got totally excited. So the first one that I picked up is the contouring brush. And this is what I was hoping that the Ultimate Kabuki brush was going to be. That nice pinched um, brush perfect for contouring. This was obviously too big for that, but they released this one soon after. And I'm really excited to try it. It's a little bit smaller than what I expected. But this is what it looks like. Um, very nice, sturdy, and it's got that flat, pinched brush that's going to be great for contouring your cheekbones and around your face. So I'm very excited about this. It's very soft and uh, dense. Love that. I haven't tried it yet, obviously, but uh, pretty psyched to see how that works out. Next one that I picked up, they just released as well, and this is the Ultimate Blending Brush. And this is what this looks like. It's got a nice fluffy um, top. It's not as dense as I expected it to be. I expected it to be more like the, where is it? More like the uh, Round Kabuki brush from Sigma. Um, but it's a bit fluffier than that. It's not nearly as dense, but I think it's going to be really, really nice. Again, super soft. I love Elf's brushes. And the third brush that I picked up, which was also new, can't help myself, you guys. Anytime they come out with new brushes, I order them. Um, is the Eyebrow Duo brush, which is an angled eyebrow brush on one side and a spoolie on the other. And the only other thing that I picked up from e.l.f. is something else that is brand new to them. This is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil, and I got mine in deep brown because this is the shade they suggested for dark, dark brown and um, black hair have not even swatched this yet so I don't know how it's going to be but it's got the little spoolie on one end and then the pencil on the other which is a uh, retractable one and uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at this okay so it's very hard um, not a little bit waxy I'll definitely have to use it I'm not sure how that color is going to be it might be too dark for my brows but um, you guys know I've been on a kick of trying all the new brow products lately so when I saw that elf was coming out with one I of course had to try it so I picked that up as well, and you guys will definitely hear my opinions on that once I have formed them. Um, the very last place that I went was Meyer. I don't go to Meyer very often. I tend to do my shopping at Walmart, but I was there. So of course I wandered down the beauty aisle and I picked up a few things. The first thing I picked up was the Rimmel Match Perfection light perfecting radiance sunscreen foundation and I picked mine up in the shade 120 ivory I've been using this for a little while and I've really been enjoying it I used to be totally in love with the Rimmel lasting finish foundation um, and just sort of discovered new things and quit using that for whatever reason so I went back actually to buy that and found this and decided to try this instead so the color match is really nice for me it's a nice kind of light coverage foundation and I've really been enjoying it I also picked up the Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter. This I picked up in the shade Fair Light. I've only used this a couple times, but I'm not really crazy about it. I don't like the applicator. It's got a little brush, and you kind of squeeze it up and push it through there, and I find that um, getting the right amount of product is sort of difficult. But um, I'm going to continue to use it and form a full opinion, and then, like I said, you guys will know uh, whether I recommend that or not. I picked up the NYC Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder. Um, you guys know that I recently picked up the bronzer color wheel, which looks like this, and I've really been loving that, so I decided to try some more products from the same line. And um, 
I decided to go for this blush shade, which is Pink Cheek Glow. And um, I've only used it once, so I don't really have an opinion on it yet, but that's what it looks like. Um, got all the different shades of pink, and you can kind of swirl them together, and that's what you get. Very nice um, pink shade of blush there. Really, really uh, think that's going to be pretty. Another thing that I picked up from Meyer is just this little uh, Wet n Wild Color Icon eyeshadow single in the color Unchained. It's just a really nice silver. These um, color icon singles are so affordable. They're like 99 cents and they're amazing quality. So anytime I see one that I don't have, I always pick it up and I'm never disappointed. So there is the swatch of that. Very pretty and I'm going to add my collection of color icon singles probably my favorite single eyeshadows in the drugstore also from Meyer, I picked up the Maybelline full and soft mascara I have been trying a lot of new mascaras lately and the one complaint that I have overall about mascaras in general is the crunchy feeling that they give your eyelashes I find myself constantly picking the clumps and the stiffness out of my eyelashes um, it's a really bad habit and I end up pulling my eyelashes out with them. So I decided to try this because it says that it is uh, for soft thick lashes and I really just want a mascara that's going to define my lashes and give me some length without making them super crunchy. So if you've tried this mascara, let me know what you think of it. Hopefully it will do the trick. I also, of course, had to pick up some more scented wax cubes. You guys already saw me talk about these in my spring uh, what I'm burning for spring um, video that I just posted but uh, this is Thai lemongrass mint and it just smells really nice nice kind of lemongrass mint classic what you would expect it to smell like and uh, I'm really enjoying going to be really enjoying burning that so I have been hearing youtubers talk about bobble bar forever in a day and I've looked on the website a couple of times and it always just seemed kind of incredibly hyped and overpriced but um, I was perusing their website one day and they happened to have a sale where they had some of their items for $10 and I figured this would be a really good time to try out the service so um, I got the order in the packaging is incredibly cute um, it's got um, this black and white striped tissue paper. Your little invoice comes in a nice little envelope that says special delivery. Very, very cute. And the actual product was packaged very nice in this little drawstring bag. Um, and then you open it up and it's all packaged up very nicely in bubble wrap. I picked up the loop layered necklace in gold because I really, really liked the way it looked and I figured for $10, even if it was cheap and chintzy, I wouldn't be out much. You know, you pay that for uh, costume jewelry at, like, Walmart. So, comes on a nice little pink card, as you can see. And the necklace is actually very nice. It's not the best quality ever, but for $10, I didn't expect it to be. It is a layered necklace with um, a shorter piece there, and then the longer piece with the little hoops. So um, I think I'm really going to enjoy wearing that. I really liked it a lot, and for $10, I thought it was worth it. The original price for this, though, was like $35. No way would I pay $35 for this. It's just not worth it. But um, I got the delivery relatively quickly, and I liked the way it was packaged. So for $10, I think it was definitely worth it. And the very last thing I want to talk to you guys about was the beauty item that came in my Julep Maven box. I have already shown the nail polishes that came in my Maven box for March, which you can see if you check out my monthly nail polish haul, which uh, will be linked at the end of this video. Um, but the beauty product that came in it this month was a lipstick, and this is very, very nice. The packaging is incredibly slick. Um, it's magnetic, so it's very nice and the color is in twirl and it's just a really pretty pink um, that I think is going to be perfect for spring and summer very moisturizing feels really nice and very pigmented so that's it there very excited to wear this on my lips and let you guys know what I think um, but I think the packaging is incredible I love that magnetic top doesn't take much to impress me does it 
So that's it. Those, I believe, are all of the items that I picked up this month besides um, some nail polish, which you will see next month during my monthly nail polish haul. Um, but yeah, quite a few things that I'm definitely interested in trying and giving you my feedback on. So if there was anything specific that I mentioned in this video that you want to see a review on or swatches or whatever, leave me a comment down below and let me know because I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to do any sort of video that you guys would like to see. I'm always taking requests. Um, also make sure that you follow my Instagram and my Twitter and all my social media stuff because I'm constantly on there interacting with you guys, um, Instagram especially. Very active on Instagram and you guys will see lots of Instagram pictures and swatches and of things that I've talked about here. So um, definitely make sure that you follow me there if nowhere else. But I also have a blog which I don't update as nearly as frequently as I should, but there's that, and my Facebook page, so definitely check out my social media links down below, um, and subscribe if you haven't done so already, because I'd love to have you back, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye, everyone!